Hi, this is Dean with MaxiLift, coming to you with another edition of Pro Tips. In this series, we're talking about the bucket elevator, of course, and we've hit a number of different features about the bucket elevator and its various components. When we talked about the head section, I briefly mentioned a variable speed drive. Well, today we're gonna to hit a couple of the components of some accessories for your bucket elevator. One is the variable speed drive, which is more high tech, and another is very low tech, and that is the throat plate in the discharge. Both of them could be very important in determining the, uh, getting the rated capacity of your bucket elevator and having it function properly. A couple things to keep in mind is that getting the correct speed, especially in a centrifugal discharge bucket elevator, is gonna make a difference of how that product comes out and flows out into the discharge. You may be wondering, why am I getting some product down into the boot? And there could be a couple of reasons. One, the speed is slightly different. Maybe your throat plate is, is, uh, has been worn out. You may have changed buckets. Let's take a look here at a CC style bucket. It's a slightly different design than like our HD Max bucket, which is a Calumet design. Both of them are gonna discharge slightly differently. And so a variable speed drive can make a difference on how they're gonna discharge. Now, let's look at the head section here. We've got the bucket elevator turned around from where we had it in the other videos. But what we're showing here, of course, is the belt and buckets coming up, coming around the head pulley, discharging out and coming back down. I'm gonna turn this on right now. I want you to watch a couple things. One is that as it's getting up to speed, first of all, you're gonna see a lot of product coming down the downspout until it gets to the point where it's at the right speed, where the product is being discharged properly out the end. So let's take a look here. Now, the nice thing about that is that I could control the speed back here with this variable speed drive just by a push of a button to increase the RPMs or decrease the RPMs. That's great for fine tuning the speed of your bucket elevator, but also it'd be great just for inspecting the buckets. If you had an inspection door right here, which is very common on the trunking, and you have a variable speed drive, you can set this to run empty and just look at your buckets as they go by and be able to tell, stop it right where you need to and be able to, to replace out buckets if some of them are damaged. So it's a variable speed drive is more important than just for the just for the speed of the discharge. Now, I mentioned the throat plate, and that is over here, you're gonna have a, a material that's either gonna be say UHMW or urethane that is adjustable on the discharge that's going to be able to come up right close to the edge of the bucket. Now, as I said, when it started out, it was going slow. The product coming out of the buckets basically was falling straight down. And since the throat plate is not really close up to the edge of the buckets, quite a bit of it was falling down the down leg. That could be quite a problem if you were running this for a long period of time because too much gets down there. The bucket elevator is already being fed at the rated capacity, but it's receiving way too much coming down the down leg so you could actually plug the bucket elevator. But as it sped up, you can see that the discharge started to get better because the speed is set for the correct diameter of the pulley and the type of buckets in there to get a good discharge where it's throwing it out. There was still some coming down, and that's because in this particular display model, the, uh, the throat plate is not exactly right up to the edge of the buckets. So it could be adjusted, and that's something that you could do. I've been in bucket elevators actually a number of times. Very unfortunately, when I would go in, customer would say they're having a problem. We'd go up to the top, open up the, the inspection door to look in, and there actually either would not be a throat plate in there or it had been worn away by quite a bit and so it wasn't accomplishing anything and they wonder why they were getting so much product down at the butt in the boot well on a good sized bucket elevator that distance between the edge of the bucket and the discharge area of the bucket elevator could be two or three inches whereas if you have your throat plate in there and it's adjusted properly you can have it up within about an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch of the edge of the bucket and keep it from falling down in the down leg so you can see it's really important. So you've got a high-tech feature, which could be a fair variable speed drive, or a low-tech feature, like your throat plate, that's gonna make a big difference in getting the rated capacity of your bucket elevator. If you've got questions about yours, if your bucket elevator is not getting its rated capacity, maybe there could be other issues as well. 
why don't you get in touch with us at Maxi Lift? We'd be glad to help you out. This is Dean with Maxi Lift and Pro Tips. Thanks for watching.